to February 2018 and I um, hope you're having a nice year so far. So for the month of February you're going to be thinking very much about um, what you believe, um, not just what you believe though about your life purpose, you're going to be really trying to think through whether you can actually do what you want to do in life. And you're actually, even some of you are going to be wondering whether you know what you want to do and some of you are going to be wondering whether the thing that you're already doing is actually the thing that you want to be doing anymore and or how it needs tweaking or how it all fits together, or how all the things that you do fit together because Gemini's often do more than one thing. So you're going to be really asking yourself questions about your beliefs, your faith, your faith generally, your philosophy on life and you know how everything kind of hangs together to make you who you are. What do you believe and what do you believe about um, your ability to, to ascend higher in life, in terms of your, of your education, in terms of your, your spiritual development even, in terms of teaching others and learning and study and travel and uh, experiencing the world through a wider, a broader vision. You're going to be thinking very much about all of those issues not being so restricted in your life, not being, not feeling stunted anymore, not feeling that you don't know who you are or where you're going or don't have a really clear sense of direction and purpose. So all of those issues are going to be really, really coming into sharp focus for you in February. And you are going to be letting go of not believing in yourself and not believing you can do better. It's like, you know, all of these things, these ideas, these plans, these possibilities, they are there somewhere in your consciousness. And yet you keep second guessing yourself, you keep doubting yourself, you keep going forward a couple of steps and then back one and wondering, is this ever going to happen for me? Am I ever really going to be able to make that change that I want to make? Am I just kidding myself? I've done this and I've done that and I've changed this and I've committed to that and where the heck is it already? And you're going to have to just neo up, okay? Because it's like, you know, at some point you are going to have to believe that you are the one <laughs> who can make this happen, that you can be that person. You can be a person who lives an extraordinary kind of life. And, you know, some people say, oh, don't give people dreams, don't say, you know, we're all supposed to have an extraordinary kind of life. It's not just giving people dreams. It's like, you know, wake up and start believing again. You already have those dreams. I'm not giving them to you. You already have them, Gemini, and I want to reignite them in your heart because if you don't have those dreams, you know, what are we? What, you know, without vision, the people perish, you know? So you need to hang on to that vision. You need to neo up and keep believing. Keep believing, stop second guessing, stop overthinking, stop overly worrying and let go of bad ways, all right, let's say unproductive ways of communicating with yourself. You're going to have to reprogram yourself. You're, I don't care how you do it, whether it's affirmations, whether it's chanting, whether it's, you know, just constantly having a positive thinking podcast going, you know, on your iPod or MP3 player or whatever. You're going to have to find a way to reprogram yourself because you are destined for better than, than what you're actually living at the moment. There is a greater vision that's calling you. You know it is. And... Um, Sometimes all that's standing between you and where you're going is actually the belief. And I think that that is the case for you, in a sense, at the moment, more than for a lot of us. And so I keep saying in these February readings but that what happens in February seems to be a turning point for the rest of the year. That's what the energy feels like. And there's probably something in the astrology that agrees with that. It could be the, the eclipses. And I want you to see this as the month when you decide that you're going to stop overthinking and that you're going to stop um, telling yourself off is what is what I just heard from spirit stop telling yourself off in your head and stop telling yourself you can't do it so okay that's the lecture over said with love great deal of love and affection coming to you from the world of spirit and from your guides and loved ones and from the angels and I'm picking four cards this month um, and I'm uh, so for the first second third and fourth weeks of the month and then I'm also going to give you um, archangel cards one for each week to go with the tarot 
and uh, to soften the blow I just heard. That does, it does feel that way a lot at the moment. I was just um, thinking that in some of the earlier readings that sometimes the tarot can be a bit prescriptive and a little bit too harsh and sometimes we just need things to be clarified a little bit because if you do hear something very harsh it can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. We're not being softies here. I'm just being, you know, trying to give you the message in the most loving way whilst also empowering you you know nothing that you get in a reading should ever freak you out i am a firm believer in that okay this is just giving you some guidance to help to empower you to make any changes that you feel you need to make in order to um make those dreams come true for yourself and to get believing again so for the first week truth start to be honest with yourself you're searching for the truth. So again, this ties in with um, the, what we were saying about the ninth house, about believing again, believing in yourself, trying to figure out what you actually believe, like your philosophy, what you believe you're here to do, your life purpose. All of those things are very much on your mind at the moment. Almost, you know, in the sense that you want to start picking up some philosophy books and, and start you know, looking at the nature of the universe. And I know a lot of you will already be on a spiritual path because I tend to work with people who very much are and they would be um, would gravitate towards these readings anyway. But if that is new to you, don't be surprised at all if you are asking yourself a lot of questions at the moment in an attempt to begin believing again in what you already know you want in your life, in your in in your heart. And you you have clear audience here as well. So another very uh, strong card for um, trusting your inner guidance. Trust. Notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. You'll be getting clues. You'll be getting synchronicities. They'll be very much coming through thoughts you hear inside your mind or things that you hear when you just happen to turn on the radio at that particular moment or someone says something while you happen to be walking past a shop and you know you hear something and it makes sense. It clicks. Something clicks into place for you. And I feel that with you, a lot of it's going to be about telling you to keep believing, to keep the faith, to keep moving forward on the path that you're on and to keep trusting that things are going to get better. Again, a pivotal month for you as with everybody else and I hope it's going to be the month when you decide to start believing again if you've lost that faith or to just keep believing, keep believing. Okay, the second week, fertility, great, fantastic. So you settle in then hopefully and you begin to trust again and the second week is going to be much more fertile for you creatively it could be fertile for you in a number of ways maybe some of you literally are growing things you know springs coming back in our hemisphere you know if you're um it depends where you live i suppose but you could be growing children you could be wanting to conceive you could be wanting to you know impregnate someone <laughs> if you're male it could be it could be anything to do with creativity so and you know uh, uh, children that's the biggest form of creativity but it could be to do with works of art that you're creating it could be to do with music it could be to do with um, painting it could be to do with writing poetry drawing um, anything at all that allows you to manifest something from your heart look at that heart look at that heart center just glowing something that comes from your heart and bring it onto the earth for others, for the joy, for the celebration, for the highest good of others, but something that really fulfills you as well. So there's a sense of completion. I'm looking at this card and these rings are really lighting up and this circle is really glowing. And it's like there's a sense of this is something that really completes you. And it's possible that when you come to this place of questioning, after the first week, when you come to the end of your questioning, you decide, I'm going to throw myself back into it again. I'm going to throw myself back into what I'm doing, what I really, really love, and I'm going to stop questioning it now. I'm just going to do it. And then you will still be questioning your life. You may still be having a life review, but that might now include asking yourself, what can I do to give myself more time to indulge in this creativity? 
How, what can I change about my life? And this is what the universe is asking of you. How can you reconstruct things so that you can spend more of your time, more of your life, therefore, in joy and in celebration, and in creativity and in doing what you really came here to do? This is a big life purpose month for you, Gemini, and all of the cards are agreeing with that as well. So that's amazing to get life review in a card, in a spread that's about your life purpose and your um, your ability to believe in your direction, your beliefs generally. That's really powerful. Third week, probably something to do with teaching or learning. Brilliant idea. Okay, great. So that's close. So. When you begin to become inspired again, I love this because it shows that you really are opening up again. It's possible that you've been a little bit blocked, a little bit stagnant in the first month, you know, in January, just kind of questioning whether, you know, it's like you have all these ideas. We always do this, do this at the beginning of the year. Everything's going to be different this year. New year, new me, you know, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And then it's as if things sort of were slower and stodgier than you thought they would be. And now you're just beginning to move into gear. So you've got all this questioning about whether you're doing the right thing. And then you come to the second week and you admit to yourself that you want to be an artist, that you want to get out there and you want to um, create. And then you get to the third week and that's when you really begin to embody that light again. You begin to embody that sense again of really being in your element, of really shining, and that's when you get your idea of how to make it all work with the structure that you've already created in your life. So that's looking great. And by the time you get to the fourth week, that's, oh, that's so perfect. You are really gonna be connected. So you start off really essentially in a way you're starting off wanting to connect. That's what this whole, questioning is about all this uh, philosophizing and wanting to know the truth wanting to get to the truth of your life and your purpose and then by the time you get to the end of, of february you will be connected again you will feel that divine connection again you will be receiving a great deal of inspiration this whole spread is so inspired and you will remember who you are and you will come back to that and in terms of love in terms of relationships because everyone asks about that at this time of year it's going to be a really special time for you to um, recognize that when you are completely being yourself and you elevate your life state, as we say in Buddhism, and you, you bring yourself up to being seeing things more positively, feeling happier when you wake up in the morning, just generally feeling a better sense of, of possibility in life, then you attract much more love, much more good feeling around you. Your relationships all improve. Your ability to attract or manifest a new relationship, if that's what you want, will also improve because you just have a better energy around you and everything starts to look much better. And February is gonna be that pivotal point for you where you start to believe in yourself again and all things in your life begin to improve. Okay, that's great, um, Gemini. I hope that works out beautifully for you. I hope you have a fantastic February and I will speak to you again soon. Bye.